Apple Gift Card is a practical gift that unlocks a world of entertainment and fun. You can send it via email or give a physical card to your loved ones. Your friends and family can spend it on their favorite Apple services, including Apple subscriptions. Apple Gift Card can be used to buy all things Apple. Products, accessories, apps, games, movies, TV shows, iCloud Plus, and more. Visit apple.com for details and to send Apple gift cards to your friends and family this holiday season. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show, and welcome to another edition of Relationship Advice. Yeah, um... I should have did an advice. I nah, it's too late. I'm I've already I'm uh committed to this one, so I I can't overall go back on my word. But uh anyways, yeah. Welcome to another edition. We're going to start this off with an update one. And it's titled My mom called my boyfriend Brownie small boy and implied he was a woman beater when I invited him to our house because he was running out of supplies. Wait a minute, what? I yeah I I need to I need to read this I got the energy for it I drink me a Red Bull yeah let's let's see what's going on here so the original one is my mom called my boyfriend small boy brownie implied he was a woman beater when I invited him to stay with me because he was running out of supplies and now he now he left and hasn't texted me in like thirty six hours I feel bad dang it's like how do you even you sat down and counted up the hours. Like, I wouldn't even have said all that. I just, like, he, they hadn't texted me in a um, couple of days. Like, but you, you went far with that one. So, let's go ahead and read. I've always been in a toxic, in toxic relationships. And I recently met who my boyfriend came here to America some time ago as a grad student. And we work part-time together. So, that's how we met. He's Indian and he's 5'6". I may be a few inches taller than him, but I don't care. Taller or shorter, I couldn't care. He's very nice and treats me really well. He's the best guy I ever dated, and I really love him. He motivates me to do better, and he's the guy I want to end up with. Now for what happened the day before. He lives in the dorm, and his roommate left and went back to India. He was alone, and since he can't work outside, he's running out of money. It would be illegal for him to work outside campus because of his visa, that's what he told me. So I decided to invite him to live in my house until this whole virus thing goes away. And I told my mom I'm inviting my BF and she said, okay, fine. My dad was thrilled too. When he came over, my dad absolutely loved him, but my mom, not much. We were in the kitchen and when we were playing board, we were in the kitchen when he was playing board games with my dad. So that's what I'm like, it's, I don't know. Sometimes you hear about it the other way around, like where it's like the mom loves them, but the dad don't really love them that much because, you know, it's like the whole protective thing of the uh, daughter. But this time it's the other way around. That's crazy. So anyways. um, Oh, wow. That's like to say something like that. So there, she goes on to say that my mom suddenly asked me, when are you going to break up with the brownie? Wow. That's some racist behavior right there. I'm like, I yeah, I, I don't know. I'm like, wow, racist much? Like, what kind of comment is that? Like, how can you come can't just refer to them as their name? Like, and especially if you did tell them his name and things. I would imagine that you did since you invited him over and stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm like, I, it wasn't too long ago I told you his name. So you can't, you can't refer to him as his name and stuff. Like, people be surprised, like, you know, what can come out of a person. Especially they being rude to another person for no reason. Family, friend, I don't really care. Like, you being rude to somebody. I'm gonna, I did that. I remember I did that one time to my sister. She was being um, rude to one of my friends for no reason. And I straight checked her. I'm like, no, that's not cool. And I would imagine she should do the same thing to me if I was being rude to one of her friends. And it was just unnecessary and stuff. So, yeah, it's okay to check a person regardless of what relationship status you got with them and things. Like, don't don't just allow somebody to just walk over a person like that. So, anyways, continuing on with the story. I was like, what? She said, the small boy you're dating, it's not serious, is it? I hope it's not. I told her she's being really rude and he's a nice guy and I want to end up with them. And she said, I hope you know they beat their wives and don't come and don't come running back to me. I was angry and stormed off and went to see my dad, my BF. And when my dad said, 
he went to get some beers and then came back and said something came up and left. Said he didn't stay any longer. He was a nice fellow. I'm pretty sure he just heard whatever she said and um has and has left and isn't answering my text. I feel really bad. I don't want the relationship to be spoiled. I know it's hard to fix this, but can anyone give some advice? Thanks for the help. Yeah, that's messed up. That's really messed up. Yeah, I'm like, nah, you like, you can't really tell your parent to apologize because it's just they see themselves as the parent figure. So they're all like, oh, I don't need to apologize. But I definitely would bring that up. Be like an apology to him would be nice. But it's that's the thing, though, like an apology might be able to help out some people. But then on the other hand, some people might think along the lines like an apology like that's what you overall think. That's what you say. So an apology ain't going to really equal up to what you think and stuff. And what you think is going to be 10 times stronger than the little petty apology that you're doing. When they truly see that they've hurt you, when they experience what you've experienced, then that's when it's like, I feel like an apology might mean something. It might be equal to what you are thinking. But then at the same, yeah, at the same time, it's like the damage has been done. So that's overall, that's pretty messed up. Like, I, uh, yeah, I hope the relationship doesn't end. Like, definitely, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if you told him or not, but make sure you let him know that I don't think like my mom. Like, that's messed up what she said there was no reason behind it um i know it might be hard to do this but next time you need to check your mom check checking her checking her and letting her know that saying stuff like that is not cool um i hope things work out between the two between you two comment there we go oh yeah so oh so the update i forgot about the update so anyways um yeah i was like i forget about the update so uh then she said in the update first of all thank you all so much for replying giving me advice i couldn't reply to y'all but i definitely read read all of them now for the update i got a phone call from him this morning and he explained why he hadn't replied i apologized right after i picked his i picked his call and said i should have actually stood up for him and that i was really sorry he said he had a few things to explain he left my house and my sister and his sister picked him up a few hours later. He said he decided to call me, but his sister asked him not to do anything quickly and without thinking and actually let things cool down and think about what he was going to say. Here's how the conversation went. After I apologized to him for my mom's behavior, he said, look, it's not your fault and I don't want to blame you for it. Of course, your mom was racist and it wasn't a um, pleasant, a very pleasant experience. I don't know if she's always been like that or she had a bad experience or something but i don't want to bring a rift between you and your mom look i really like you and i'm sure your mom loves you as well i don't want to be the bad guy make out you in a position where you have to choose we'll try to work it work it out one last time and hope your mom changes also you didn't tell me your um dad was gonna call me i'm like dad called you he's like yeah he did we exchanged numbers when we were playing board games and even he had um he even had planned on to go out fishing see the dad dad of the year i i like dude dad he was probably what he was gonna do is probably apologize for his uh wife's behavior and stuff because i'm like yeah that's not cool that's not cool to act like that but me on the other hand see here's the thing i'm a little hard-headed so I overall would have said, once when they would have came back into the room and stuff, I would have been making like some little petty comments and things. Like, and I'm like, look, it's overall messed up what you said, but I'm not allowed to defend myself. Like, I understand this is your house. I understand you're allowed to do and say whatever you want to do inside your house. But when a guest is over, 
and you're just being flat out rude to them for no reason, like you're going to put me in that group of people that you've either read about, watch videos about, or whatever you did, but you're going to put me in that group of people, and you don't even know who I am. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I overall wouldn't have just let that slide. I don't know. I probably would have been out as the bad guy for checking the mom, because I'm like, that's that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Like, yeah, people, you, I, I like, ladies, be cautious of bringing me to your parents, because if you know your parents are going to say some racist stuff to black people, yeah, I, I think it's best to probably tell them beforehand and let them know, like, hey, he's no joke. Um, he puts up a battle, so <laughs> let let your let your parents know about me. I, I overall am going to stand up for myself, regardless of whoever's house I'm in. So, um, I will respect it, but I also expect to be respected. I'm not gonna just allow people to disrespect me. I don't really care where I'm at and stuff. But um, anyways, he said he called and apologized, and he said he made sure it doesn't happen again and i'm always welcome in your house he's a really nice person if i'm giving this relationship another shot it's also because of the respect i have for your father once all this is over i will see you again and don't cry it's gonna be okay yeah that that boyfriend i'm like he you know he deserves an award too he he does he deserves i've like both of them guys like definitely like best like best actor of the year and then the father he's like best supporting actor of the year like that's that's what they both deserve so then she said i did cry i never knew my dad would do that i ran to him and gave him a hug and cried turns out he spoke to my mom about it and she's willing to meet him again and this time learn more about their culture i feel so relieved my boyfriend also said that he told his parents about me and when the time is right, he take me to meet them. I already spoke to his sister, and she's very nice, too. I think things look positive again. And lastly, to the woman in my DMs who said, I'm Indian, and Indian men beat women, and he only likes you because you're white, and he will treat you badly after sometimes. Wow, who would send some stuff like that? That's why I'm like, look, whatever personal experiences you have, don't overall see. Here's my thing. I will overall go based off of my personal experience, but I want this person's experience to be a brand new road. I don't want them to go based off of my road. Like, if you want to take the directions that I did, do that. But overall, I want you to create your own road in whatever situation that you are in. Don't go based off of what I said, but... Then she finished it off with, thanks for listening. I hope you all have a nice day. You too. You too, lady. You too. And the boyfriend and the father. The mom, I don't know so much. She she, she, she was being foul for no reason. Girlfriend wants an open relationship. I am not a supporter of open relationships. So to whoever this guy is, um, if you don't agree with it, then yeah, uh, don't you don't have to if you want to then go ahead but that's somewhere i'm like nah like it's either me and you or we gotta break up but that's that's not my thing i don't do open relationships so my son and my ex-husband wait what i let, let, all right so let's read this so like tldr i like the short summary my son is in a relation is in a relationship with my ex-husband of 13 years. They're both upset over me giving them the ultimatum and kicking him out. Wow. That's crazy. Huh. That is some wild behavior. Wow. That is, man, I don't even think I can. It's one thing to do it to your friend, but to do it to your own parent. Like, that shows that that person does not care. They don't care at all. So, Anyways, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and read this. This is a first for me, Reverend, reading a story like this. So, uh, so she starts it off, um, with saying, okay, so my ex husband and I got married back in 2006, but I was bringing in three children from my previous relationship, which he was amazingly understanding of. We've had fights, but nothing serious, and had a fantastic 13 year marriage. That all ended last year when he suddenly sat me down and told me he was gay and always was, but mistaked his love for me as something romantic rather than what it actually was, which was a friendship. Obviously, I wasn't too impressed with this, and we had a very sour divorce last year. Dang. That's crazy. 
That's, that's, but wow. Like, I wouldn't even know what to do, but, like, at the same time, it's like, I actually, you know what? No. There's this TV show called 911, and it was the same, not, not this story, but the, um, wife, uh, his husband was gay, and I think, think, how did she, I think he, well, overall, I can't remember, it, it was because this was, like, happened, like, two seasons ago, I can't really remember what happened, but, yeah, it was, like, it's wild to hear that sometimes, you know, but anyways, now, it's, then she goes on to say, now son, who I'll call Will, and I haven't had the best of relationships, but we usually get over our disagreements quickly, about three weeks ago, I had to leave the country for a work trip, but when I got to the airport, my boss told me that it was canceled because of the whole pandemic thing. Cool. Wasn't happy since I spent a lot of time packing and had very had various plans for when I got there, but what could I what could I do about? So I came back home and found my ex-husband in the kitchen cooking, very confused. I asked why he was here how he got in, etc. That's when Will came down and casually told me they were in a relationship and we're just hanging, wow, and just hanging out. Man, that is crazy. That's like, that's weird. That's super weird. If I had a kid and he dated or she, whoever, I don't even care. If they dated my significant other after we got into a divorce, I would be thinking I was getting pranked. I'm like, this has to be a prank. Like, y'all can't be serious. That ain't weird. That's like, that's not, that's not weird. Like, here's the thing. I remember I've talked about, like, you know, previous, like, stories where I didn't find it. What was the one story with the, um, the, the brother, or not the brother, but the guy wanted to propose to his girlfriend at the girlfriend's sister's wedding and I overall, like, I'm not getting that vibe where I'm, like, not weirded out. No, I am weirded out by this. I would definitely be weirded out. And I'm like, what, like, you, that, that's not normal. Like, that's some weird stuff. You're, like, this, you're pretty much in a relationship with your stepfather. That's not weird. I'm saying, like, that's, no, nah, that's some strange behavior. Like, I don't even, like, that's the thing. I don't want to, I overall wouldn't disown my child, but I'd just be like, I'm gonna have, like, a very weird feeling when they're around, you know? Like, I'm just gonna be like, nah, like, you are on some stuff. Like, bro, you, there, that ain't normal. So, anyways, um... Then she said, I'll admit that I did get very angry and start shouting at the both of them and ended up throwing my ex-husband out. But I also felt like it was justified because one, my son never mentioned being gay at all and seemed to have told everyone else but me years ago. Two, my son is dating my ex-husband. Three, though they profusely claim they started dating after the divorce, I'm almost 100% sure that it started long before that as they had a very close relationship that none of us understood but now makes sense to me. Well, I'm guessing that maybe he did tell the stepfather that he was gay and the stepfather, they probably did have some conversation, you know, then that's probably what led to him like saying, oh yeah, you know, if you overall see yourself as gay, then maybe you should divorce my mom, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, they most likely did have a conversation, but relationship, that would have just been dirty. That, that seriously, I'm like, they, I don't even think that they, if they did do that, they wasn't even thinking about, like, the pain you would be suffering from. Like, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. So, dang, it just seems like it just gets crazier and crazier. I read, like, not this next paragraph, but the paragraph after. I'm like, man, that's some crazy behavior. So, uh, then it's like, closer to the button. Makes sense to me. So, then she says, so after a few days, I calmed down a bit and just left just left them to do whatever they wanted because I didn't care anymore about their so-called relationship until last Friday when he brought my ex-husband over to watch movies without even telling me. Again, we got in a really bad fight with him arguing that I allowed my other son, James, to bring his girlfriend over without asking, but James' girlfriend doesn't happen to be my ex-husband. Facts! Like, no! I'm like, I see, that's why I'm like, you're not understanding the behavior that is happening. Like, the son... This would be the one time where I'm like, I don't agree with the other party's decisions. Like, overall, I'm accepting and willing to accept everything, but 
It's stuff like that where I'm like, nah, that's not normal. Like, yeah, I'm like, oh, like, because then that's you like, you go and say, like, oh, your other son, like, gets to bring over his girlfriend. I'm like, okay, was I in a relationship with his girlfriend? Was I married to his girlfriend? No, but this dude right here, yes. Like, <laughs> like, I'm saying, like, do you not understand what's going on here? Like, that's just not normal. That's like, that's when I would be like, okay, well, how would that make you feel? If you was dating somebody and they broke up for you with me and we was hanging out at the house, that wouldn't be weird to you? Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, it would definitely be weird to me. I don't even think I'd be able to live in the house no more. But I'm saying, like, some behavior like that, that's just not normal. Like, that, yeah, I'm like, that ain't normal. That's not normal. For you to date, the, and talking to the son, for you to date your mom's ex-husband, like, yeah. You guys sit down and think about like, yeah, that's going, that's a really weird relationship. That's gone far beyond like breaking a bro code of dating your bro's like ex-girlfriend and things. That's far beyond that. You definitely, you went out the park with this one. You definitely went out the park. I can't even give you any strikes on that. You skipped all the way. You told me you on your third strike. <laughs> like that's man. That is some, it's just crazy. That's just, that's super crazy. So, um, anyways, then she said, then it ended with me giving Will an ultimatum to either break up with my ex-husband or leave my house because I couldn't stand feeling uncomfortable in my own house. This might sound bad kicking him out during the pandemic, but his father and my ex-husband also live in the same city, so it's not that bad. Needless to say, he called me very unsavory words and left with his things i honestly you know because yeah this pandemic thing it's you know it's pretty crazy i probably would have done the same thing though if my if my kid was dating like my ex and i'm like my ex-wife on top of that yeah if he was dating or she was dating i'd be like no nah, y'all can't be in my house doing this this, this is weird and i'm like you guys go take that behavior somewhere else go rent out a motel or something and uh do all of that but y'all ain't gonna be in my house chilling and things while i'm like yeah that's that ain't cool that's not cool i'm like you could call me all the names and words you want to but you need to understand that that's some weird stuff and if i were to do that to you you would be feeling the same way and most likely would kick me out of the house if i were to do something like that so yeah i'm like they can't they cannot be mad they have to understand how you feel and stuff because if that were to happen to them they would be doing the same exact thing so yeah, I'm, I'm, man, I feel for this mom. I seriously do. That's some just crazy stuff. But in 2010, I had a very close call with breast cancer, which led to a double mastectomy, which was very traumatic and painful for me and my family. Last night, I got a message from Will, which I still haven't responded to, saying a lot of bad things and basically saying we'll never be the same again, thanks to me. Thanks to, oh my God, like that man. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. It's like, so it's my fault that you started dating my ex-husband. Like, that's what I'm like, speaking as the mom, I'm like, so it's my fault that y'all decide to have a thing. Like, that's not weird to you? I'm saying, like, you have to sit down and think that that would be weird, and you would even think that it would be weird if I was dating your ex. Y'all got married and all this stuff, like, and then you guys divorced, and then we start. That wouldn't be weird to you? You put yourself in my shoes. That's why I'm like, people, people do not want to do stuff like that. I always, that's the one, that's the number one thing. Like that to the, to me, saying that to people, that's like the poison inside of their body. That's the one thing that they, in any situation that I have been in, and I've told people to be in my shoes and understand where I'm coming from, that is the poison that takes them out. They can't respond to it. They overall, they probably think and be thinking like, oh, I'm like going to be doing the same thing. But like, oh, I don't want to like say that he's right and stuff. So overall, they try their hardest to like fight away from it. But I'm like, that's why I'm like, no, put yourself in my shoes. Okay, feel that pain that I'm feeling. It's something that they don't want to do. But I'm like, no, you need to feel that pain. I'm seriously going to be doing some like John Coffee, Green Mile stuff. Like grab them. Like, no, you're going to feel this pain. You're going to feel it because that's just not normal. Like that, it's not, it is not the mom's fault. I'll tell y'all that right now. It is not the mom's fault for acting how she's acting. Because any, like I said, put yourself in my shoes. 
Put put your or put yourself in the mom's shoes. Put yourself in the mom's shoes. How would that make you feel? That wouldn't be weird because it definitely would be weird to me. So then she said, "Cool, I get he's angry." So I didn't. So then so I didn't shock me much, but it was the ending which literally broke my heart and made me cry and still does when I think about it. He said, and I quote, "I hope the cancer comes back and kill." Wow. Now I'm like thinking like, is this fake? Because I'm like, why? Man. That's, wow. That is crazy. To wish death on your mom for dating her ex and then seeing how she's reacting to it. Like, because you, that's the thing where he's just not understanding. You broke a trust. A trust that people should just know automatically. I know I would never date one of my friend's exes, but to date one of my parent, my like parent, my dad's ex, like if he had a girlfriend, they broke up and then I was the, that I would, I would, honestly, I would know that my dad would be upset. I know he would have things to say about it. I know he would feel a certain way about it, especially if he has strong feelings for this woman and then she breaks up with him to be with me. I will understand, like, I will understand that. I will understand his pain and his frustration. So that's why I would never, ever in my life will never cross that boundary. Never. But to be mad at him because, like, I don't even understand that type of behavior. I wouldn't even understand why I was mad at him. Like, that, I'm like, that son, that son is straight up spoiled. He, no, he is spoiled. I'm sorry to speak on another person's kid, but seriously, I probably would have roundhoused my kid for saying some stuff like that to me. I'm like, he's 18, he's over the age, so he's an adult. I would roundhouse my kid for saying some stuff like that. Like that, 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 no, that to me, that's upsetting. That's very upsetting to say something like that to your parent because you brought anger on into them and stuff. Like, so uh, then she continues saying, worst part is he knows how painful the experience was and still used it against me now our family is pretty much torn because of this my other kids say they aren't picking sides but apparently to will they stop speaking to him yeah i would have I, I don't know to say something like that my sister would say something like that to my mom i'm like you need to apologize no nah, that's not cool because if she had said something like that to you you definitely would be hurt so i'm like why would you even say some stuff like that no, I'd be like, no, nah, you, yeah. I, I, it probably would have been a while before I talked to my sister too if she said some stuff like that to my mom. I'm like, nah, you got to uh, apologize. I'm like, because no, nah, I'd like, I'd be, yeah, I would probably, I would be mad myself. I honestly, no, if it's like the kids, they, they're probably, they probably overall, um, I don't know how close they are with this other son and stuff, but I definitely would have chosen the mom's side. Who wouldn't? Seriously, who wouldn't? I, I can't wait to read the comments on this one. But, um... Huh. But anyway, I, like, read, like, the ending and stuff. But anyways, um... But then she says, My mother agrees with me, but I think it's more with the fact that she's homophobic and, the, and Will's father says, I've ultimately caused the destruction of any relationship Will and I could ever have over a man so i'm stuck on whether what i did was right or if i was in uh, a particular name that i'm not going to repeat so what now edit after reading the comments i sent them a message telling him i love him regardless of what what's going what going on he read the message but still hasn't responded just messed up and yes we will be attending therapy as a family and hope he will join when he's comfortable Then somebody saw so I'm yeah, the one person commented saying this is a hundred percent grooming. What does that mean? I need to I need to look that up. What they mean by that? Practice depression and clean the coat. Action of by a pedophile preparing a child of me. Well they said he's eighteen, so any like he's he is an adult. Yeah, he is an adult and stuff, so um if your husband wasn't gay and this happened with an 18, 
uh, daughter, that dude would be in prison. I would dig more into what, when, and how this started. He, but the 18 is the age. Like, that's, you're over the age. Like, it doesn't even really matter about age. Like, it's the fact that they went behind my back and was starting this relationship and stuff. Like, the, it wasn't even like he came out and said, like, oh, yeah, like, I started, you know, dating your ex-husband. They didn't even tell her. They waited until they thought she left for this business trip and then um, t um then decided to, like, break the news to her and stuff. So, like, they hid this from her. She doesn't have a reason to be upset, bruh. Bruh. Then, uh... They perfectly clean they start dating after divorce and in their relationship. Yeah, this is this whole thing is extremely creepy and your son is probably only going to realize how predatory his BF actually behaved once he's a few years older. I suggest you get some individual counseling and eventually some family counseling with your two kids. Maybe even Will if he's willing. I don't know, man. Like this to me, that 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 yeah, that's just beyond creepy and weird. Like something's just not right with this. So uh, then he was like, exactly. For all I know, he could have been even been sexually grooming him all this time. Why would I need counseling or my other kids? Then it was like, uh, then there's, um, the person responded back. Cause that was the mom that said that last thing I read. Then the person said back saying, because this is a very tricky situation with lots of different emotions, which has a different impact on everyone. Therapy can help you and your kids get to your feelings out there, figure out how to get on the same page and move on together. See, that's the thing though, what people are just not understanding, like, this situation has forever like damaged the family relationship that we had. Your son went behind your back and started dating your ex-husband. Y'all had a marriage. You guys put 13 years into each other. So you guys had a lot of moments with each other and that was all thrown away because your son and your ex-husband decide to get into a relationship. Like, like I'm saying, they definitely had a conversation about being gay. And that's most likely what led to your um, husband divorcing you. And then they probably started talking. He Or the son probably checked up on the ex. They started talking. Then that's when they decide that we're going to start dating. I'm saying, like, case, case solved. But... Everybody's like saying that the boy is 18, like he ain't did nothing, but somebody said, I want to sidestep this too much, but you should absolutely not take this out on your son, who likely had no idea how to handle when advances were made toward him. Your son was a child, you should protect his innocence, even if you view him as an adult now and help him move towards making a healthier decision for himself including know his rights concerning statutory limitations for sexual abuse of a child and help him understand what has happened to him and the choices he is concerned about in the counseling is the first healthy step i don't know why everybody's like the boy is 18 so my suggestion your ex have been grooming with why has everybody been like nobody's not overall talking about how weird this situation is there's like one comment that said that it was weird or creepy but Yeah, it's like nobody is not talking about how weird this is. Like, I'm no. Like, I think everyone is not real realizing how weird this situation is. The son started dating her ex husband after they had a divorce so most likely prior before they they had the divorce will and the ex 
probably had a conversation about being gay, which led to the divorce. That's just my theory on the situation. But he, but the son should overall apologize for his actions. That's not cool to wish death on your mom for her reacting to her own son dating her ex-husband. It's like, put yourself in her shoes and let me know how you would feel. Because I know I would have reacted the same way if it was my child. It's like, yeah. It's like, you guys, it's like, if you like that, type of weird stuff to date your parents ex then that's on you but i know for a fact if i wouldn't date my friends ex why would i date my parents ex comment like that is without doubt the weirdest story i think i've ever read what relate on that note i just gotta end it there i gave all the energy that i could it's gonna be a short episode but no that episode is just like that's upsetting to you know people are like overall saying the fact like oh he was grooming the child and all that stuff i'm like look where i'm from 18 is the legal age to start dating other adults and stuff if he would have been 17 then yeah then it would have been um weird but i see is that he's 18 he's an adult he can make his own decisions so he made that decision he made that decision where he's going to date his mom's ex after they just had the divorce that's not weird i'm saying like that somebody i'm I'm gonna have to ask people about that like that's why i'm like man because no there's the co-worker at my job me and him, we're heavily on Reddit. We, me and him, we're probably like, we are currently right now, like at that job, like we're the two people that go on Reddit the most. So of course I got going on it for, you know, like my podcast and potential like YouTube videos and stuff. So I have no, re- I'm, I have no choice but to go on the Reddit. I, I want to like ask him if your mom was dating somebody or no, 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 no. If your dad was dating somebody, right? And then, or they married, married for all these years, like you've had family get get togethers, photos taken with them, all this other extra stuff. You, they, then they divorce, like your, um, dad and then this other woman, they divorce, but you and that woman started talking and stuff that wouldn't raise a red flag to you. Like, honestly, I would be like, nah, like this cannot happen like no we we cannot be a thing you've been married to my dad for 13 years why would i cross that boundary but i would ask him like would you cross that boundary where you would date not your friend's ex but your father's ex i'm saying because like that would just not be normal like that that is without doubt the weirdest story that i think i've ever read like, that's something where I'm like, I'm honestly, like, curious about what other people would think about that. Like, how would you react if you found out that your child was dating your ex? It's one thing to find out that your friend is dating your ex. If my friend was dating my ex, I wouldn't really care. I'd be like, that's between y'all. Like, that. that's something where I'm like, no, I don't really care and stuff. But my own child, I would be like, that's not weird to you? Like, that's weird to me where one day we were together and now one day you guys are together like no that ain't no situation where it's like keep it in the family like no you guys are being weird in the family no like that that's just not normal that is not normal at all and i'm just really like mad at how the son reacted to the mom like like she wasn't supposed to be mad (laughs) like i'm confused on that like she ain't supposed to be like how like that's what i'm saying put yourself in her shoes because i put myself in her shoes i thought about it and i'm like yeah that would be weird and i would most likely would have reacted the same way 
I probably, yeah, I probably would have got mad. I probably, I like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I would just more so crack jokes on this situation. I'd be like, so that's, what's, what's this? Like, I don't, I don't, I probably, I probably would have tried to crack jokes, but then at the same time, I, a part of me would have been like, y'all are some weirdos. Like, no, that's just, that's not normal to date your, uh, um, your ex, like, wife's son. Like, that, yeah, he should have known that that was weird, and the son should have known that that was weird. So that's, I'm like, yeah, they had to have, like, some sort of feelings for each other and stuff, and, um, yeah, then that's when the divorce, it's, something had to been going on behind doors with them, too, because that ain't normal. That ain't normal at all, so... Anyways, um, yeah, <laughs> this has been another episode of the T Moss Boss Show and another edition of Relationship Advice. Let me know, like, hit me up and let me know what y'all think about that because that is without doubt the weirdest story I think I've ever read on here. And then for the the turn that it took, like, for the son to lash out on his mom like that to where she's crying, and then she dealt with this breast cancer situation. And he wished that she would have that that nah. He he went he went far below the belt. He was fighting dirty that whole time. And to say something like that to your mom, like, bro, do you? That's why I'm like, I would sit down and ask him, do you love your mom? Because why would you say some stuff like that? It's bad enough that you're dating her ex, but why would you say some stuff like that to her? How come you're not trying to be there for her? Like, I feel like that if they, because most likely, most likely when she was probably all like, what do you guys mean that you got? I'm guessing that when they broke the news down like oh yeah we're dating she probably was like what do you guys mean that we're dating and the son i'm guessing the son probably reacted like well why are you mad about it it shouldn't even matter to you you guys are divorced like he probably said some stuff like that he probably was like trying to defend the relationship and stuff and wasn't overall being like hey you know like i i, I just i don't even know how to like overall go about something like that that's the thing where i'm like i like I, how do you go about that like how do you like how does that even work? You know, so that's only like, yeah. It's there ain't no honestly. I there ain't no way to go about that. That's just a weird relationship. I I tried to like you know put myself in the son's shoes, but I just know that I would not cross that boundary. But if I was like, if I were to cross that boundary, the woman would have had to been like I I don't know like I I just I couldn't I just couldn't I just could not cross that boundary with my dad. I'm like, no, that's like something where I'm like, if, I don't know, maybe if it was like a hookup situation where we just slept with each other or something, that was it, like it was a one-time thing, but like, to overall like turn it into where we're dating and things, like, yeah, dumbly, you honestly, like, then people would know that, and it's, yeah, it'd just be a weird relationship overall, so that's, I'm like, it, I, yeah, it, even then, I wouldn't even want to, because I'm like, nah, you had, you were with my dad, and I'm like, I, I don't want, that's to me, that's just some weird behavior right there, I'm like, nah, you, you gonna have to, you can date my double ganger and stuff, that's about it, but you can, no, we cannot date, we can't hook up, we can't get married, we can talk, we can be friends and stuff, you know? share some food, um, no, not share any food, I don't share food, play some video games, um, you know, get a couple of Red Bulls, and then, you know, just sit down and talk about life, but to cross that boundary, I am too loyal to my family to do some stuff like that, I'm sorry, but that is not me, so, anyways, yeah, I call me son of the year, because I, that's just, I would not cross no boundary like that with my father, so, but yeah, what do you guys think about the com or about that whole situation? Let me know um, in the comment sections when this episode does get uploaded and stuff. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. If you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure uh, you follow, subscribe, however it's set up. And also give this a five-star rating. I would really, really appreciate that. Um, or whatever rating you think this podcast deserves and stuff, but uh, I don't want I don't want y'all to be the um like have like me like paying y'all off to you know or to, to give it like some fake review. Let me know what you guys truly think and stuff. But yeah, uh, that um what else? Uh, yeah, if you're purchasing tickets from SeatGeek anytime soon, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS. It will knock twenty dollars off your first purchase. And that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching and or listening and peace.